Now let's talk about a classic headache for any designer, modifying a construction. There can be dozens, even hundreds of reasons that require design changes. In this example, a few common situations will be demonstrated where modifications become necessary. The most common cause is design errors. Detecting and visualizing design issues. Let's open the analysis tool provided by Inventor and examine possible interferences. Here is a visual representation where interference zones are clearly visible. For example, this drawer intersects with its own skeletal body, which is intentional and not considered an error. However, this particular detail shows an intersection with another element, raising some concern. While it's possible to analyze which pairs of parts are intersecting, it may be more intuitive to visualize the issue. To do that, the block can be made transparent. The same should be done with these two doors to better understand the complexity of the construction. Returning to the top-level assembly reveals the broader context of the interference. Solving interference with mounting tabs. During the design phase, the presence of mounting tabs was overlooked. These tabs require screw fastenings, and with the current design, the block would not fit into place. Installation would be problematic under these conditions. A suitable design solution is to reduce the block's depth just enough so that the mounting tabs fit freely without interfering with other structural elements. Here's where the benefits of skeletal modeling become apparent. The necessary distances can simply be measured, for instance, from this surface to this point. The result shows 40 millimeters. To ensure clearance, 44 millimeters will be used. In the skeleton model, the block that defines the cabinet dimensions is selected and a direct editing command is applied. The dimension is adjusted to retract 44 millimeters from this wall. After applying the change, the updated situation can be observed. It becomes clear how many components are interconnected and affected by such a modification. This design now requires a rebuild. Recalculating and updating the model. Next, Inventor is prompted to recalculate all affected components. The update command is triggered and the system recalculates everything accordingly. The result is a structurally correct model, free of interferences. raising the entire construction. Now, assume a new requirement arises. The entire construction is too low and needs to be raised by five centimeters. Most components are linked to one another, so the change must start from the master skeleton. The entire block family will need to be elevated slightly. The primary feature that controls the overall height is located and adjusted to 780 millimeters raising it by approximately 8 centimeters. Final results in regeneration. Returning to the construction, the front view is selected to better visualize the impact on all related components. The system is prompted to perform the update. One part visibly shifts, and the iBox update is triggered again. With a few clicks, the entire construction is automatically rebuilt. All elements, metal and wood, that are interconnected, regenerate and adapt to the new dimensions.